All right, no time for a stream. My, my last stream got demonetized anyway, so it's fine. Just gonna record myself checking out the latest in our man, Puff, Brother Love, P Diddler. Papers have just dropped. So, uh, I'm gonna get into it. <sighs> Sealed indictment. Don't know what that means. 24 crim. <sighs> Count one, racketeering conspiracy. I don't know if I'm ready for this, man. The diddler. Finally exposed. Is it real? Is it is it real? It's real. It's really real. For decades, Sean Combs, aka Puff Daddy, aka P Diddy, aka Diddy, aka P D Police Department, aka Love, aka the Diddler, the Squiddler, the Riddler, the Defendant, abused, threatened, and coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, protect his reputation, and conceal his conduct. To do so, Combs relied on the employees resources and influence of the multifaceted business empire that he led and controlled, creating a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other crimes, S trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Sean Combs, aka Puff Daddy, aka the Diddler, aka P Diddy, aka Diddy, aka Diddles, aka P Diddy, aka Brother Love, the defendant, the diddler, operated his business, headquartered at various times in Manhattan and Los Angeles, must be nice, under a variety of United States based corporate entities, including Bad Boy Entertainment, Combs Enterprises, Combs Global, collectively the Combs Business, corporate entities. In the Combs business included, among other things, record labels, a recording studio, an apparel line, an alcoholic spirits business, marketing agency, and a television network and media company. You know all those companies, people. Your Chirac, your Revolts, your Combs store. You must have had a Combs store. At all times relevant to this indictment, Shaw Combs, a.k.a. the Diddler, the defendant engaged in a persistent and pervasive pattern of abuse towards women and other individuals. Lil R, perhaps. This abuse was at times verbal, emotional, physical, and sexual. As part of his pattern of abuse, Combs manipulated women to participate in highly orchestrated performances of sexual activity with male commercial S workers. I don't know, I've got to take him what I'm reading for a second. Pause. At times, Combs and others acting at his discretion made arrangements for women and commercial S workers to fly to Combs' location. Now, that's not a good look. Combs ensured participation from the women by, among other things, obtaining and distributing narcotics to them. <clears throat> oh dear. Controlling their careers, leveraging his financial support and threatening to cut off the same and using intimidation and violence. Physical abuse by Sean Combs, the diddler himself, was recurrent and widely known. On numerous occasions from at least or about 2009 and continuing for years, Combs assaulted women by, among other things, striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects at them and kicking them. All the moves. These assaults were at times witnessed by others, including one instance at a Los Angeles hotel in or about March 2016, which was captured on video and later publicly reported, where Combs kicked, dragged, and threw a vase at a woman that we know as she was attempting to leave. <clears throat> when a member of the hotel security staff intervenes, intervened, the diddler attempted to bribe the staff member to ensure silence, silence, a murder. Combs' violence was also not limited to these women. It extended to his employees, witnesses to his abuse, and others. He's taken out the witness like King Von. Sean Combs, diddles, used the Combs business, including certain employees, to carry out, facilitate, and cover up his abuse and commercial S. Those employees, including security staff, household staff, personal assistants, and high-ranking supervisors, and other close associates, acted as Combs' intermediaries and their conduct. Conduct, their conduct was facilitated and assisted by Combs. 
control of the Combs business is dastardly. Let me turn on my lights. I didn't even put the lights on. I'm going to light Diddy up. So, oh, it's getting bad now. It's going to be bad. The Combs Enterprise, from at least or about 2008 or on about the date of the filing of this indictment, through on or about to the date of the filing of this indictment. So from 2008 to now, literally this indictment just dropped. The Diddler, aka Puff Daddy, and others known and unknown were members and associates of a criminal organization, the Combs Enterprise. Members and associates of the Combs Enterprise engaged in and attempted to engage in, among other activities, S trafficking, forced labor, interstate transportation for the purposes of selling box, coercion, and enticement to engage in box sales, narcotics offenses, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. The Combs Enterprise, including its leadership, its members, and its associates, constituted an enterprise as defined by some law. Uh, that is a group of individuals associated, in fact, although not an illegal entity. The Combs Enterprise consisted of Brother Love himself, Diddy, um, the defendant, and entities within the Combs business, including but not limited to Bad Boy Entertainment, Combs Enterprises, and Combs Global, individuals employed by and associated with the Combs businesses, others known and unknown. You're all part of the gang, basically. You're part of the mob because you were part of basically any one of Diddy's corporate tentacles you have been sucked into this mess. The Combs Enterprise constituted an ongoing organization whose members functioned as a continuing U -U unit for a common purpose of achieving the objectives of the Combs Enterprise. The Combs Enterprise was engaged in and its activities affected interstate and foreign commerce. You know the feds don't appreciate that. The Combs Enterprise operated in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere. At all times relevant to this indictment, Diddy was the leader of the Combs Enterprise, the Tony Soprano, of did the diddling. The diddler and others, known and unknown, participated in unlawful and other activities related to the conduct of the Comb Enterprise, Combs Enterprises affairs. These individuals included certain Combs business employees, such as members of Combs' security staff, household staff, personal assistants, and high-ranking supervisors, as well as other associates of the diddler. All right, what was the purpose of the Combs Enterprise? You're probably wondering, diddling e ink. Okay, Diddler's Inc. You're wondering, what, what are the purposes of it? Operating as a global business in the media, entertainment, and lifestyle industries, including, among other things, record labels. You know what I'm saying? A recording studio, an apparel line, an alcoholic spirits business, a marketing agency, a television network, a media company. He was diddling at every level of the production chain, okay, of the supply chain, all right? His diddling is vertically and horizontally integrated. Preserving, protecting, promoting, and enhancing the power, reputation, and brand of Diddy as a musician, entrepreneur, and figure in the entertainment industry, enriching members and associates of the enterprise, including its leader, the Diddler. In particular, anyone who demonstrated loyalty to Diddy and willingness to conceal his crimes. Preserving, protecting, these are all the things, these are, this is why the Diddling Empire exists. Okay, it exists to preserve, protect, promote, and enhance the power of the Combs Enterprise, including the power of his likes power of his leader. All right, did he through violence, use of firearms, threats of violence, coercion, verbal, emotional, and physical and s based abuse. Also exists to fulfill the personal desires of Combs, particularly those related to his sexual gratification, including through the exploitation of women and the use of commercial box sales women. All right. Enabling Cobes and other members and associates of the Combs Enterprise to engage in unlawful acts of violence, including S-based violence, S-trafficking, false labor, interstate transportation for purposes of box sales, coercion and enticement to engage in box reselling, narcotics distribution and other crimes and concealing the commission of such acts. Okay. Another reason that Enterprise exists is securing absolute loyalty from members of the Combs Enterprise, including through acts of violence, threats and protecting the Combs Enterprise and its members and associates, including Combs himself, from detection and prosecution by law enforcement authorities through acts of intimidation, manipulation, bribery, and threats of retaliation against individuals who witnessed their crimes committed by members of the Enterprise. So part of the reason the organization existed is to stop anybody exposing it through threats of manipulation, bribery, retaliation, releasing of the tapes, perhaps, 
the means and method of the enterprise. Among the means and methods by which Diddy and other members of the Combs Enterprise conducted and participated in the conduct of the affairs of the Combs Enterprise included the following. The means and methods, okay. Combs and other members and associates of the Combs Enterprise wielded the power and prestige of Combs's role at the Combs business to intimidate, threaten, and lure female victims into Combs's orbit. Often under the pretense of a romantic relationship. Man, it sounds like that other guy who can't leave his house. Combs then used force and threats of force and coercion to cause victims to engage in extended S acts with male commercial glizzy salesmen that Combs referred to as, among other things, freak-offs. Freak-offs were elaborate and produced S performances that Combs arranged directly... <laughs> directly uh, did his thing to himself and often electronically recorded. In arranging these freak-offs, Combs, with the assistance of members and associates of the Combs Enterprise Incorporated, transported and calls to be transported commercial box saleswomen or men, probably, across state lines and internationally. Free coughs occurred regularly to a schedule, sometimes lasting multiple days and often involving multiple commercial box and wiener salespeople. During free coughs, Diddy distributed a variety of controlled substances to victims, victims, in part to keep the victims obedient and compliant. Do what Diddy says, do what Diddy says now. Sometimes, unbeknownst to the victims, Combs kept videos he filmed of victims engaging in S acts with commercial sales people after free coughs diddy and the victims typically received iv fluids to recover from physical exertion and drug use and that last little detail is wild that was just the icing on top getting the iv fluids after the free cough is actually wild the iv fluids after the free coughs is actually mad it's the details it's these little details that we're here in the indictment for really Members and associates of the Combs Enterprise, including high-ranking supervisors, security staff, household staff, personal assistants, and other Combs business employees, facilitated the free coughs by, among other things, booking hotel rooms for the free coughs, stocking the hotel rooms in advance with the required free cough supplies. You've got to go to your free cough supply store and get your free cough supplies, including controlled substances. Probably can't get those from the store. Baby oil, lubricant, extra linens, and lighting. Lighting? You get free cough supplies. Oh, he's got to get commercial film style lighting to light the free cough. These free co these tapes must be flames. I'm trying to see the daily tapes, to be honest with you. Cleaning hotel rooms after the free coughs to try and mitigate room damage. They're damaging the room with freakiness. Arranging for travel for victims, commercial salespeople, and combs to and from free coughs. Resupplying combs with requested supplies like large sums of cash to pay the salespeople who may have sold things at the events. We're going to keep it clean. Uh, scheduling the delivery of IV fluids in or about March 2024 during searches of Combs's residence in Miami, Florida, and Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California, law enforcement seized various free cough supplies, including narcotics and more than 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubric. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Combs subjected victims to physical, emotional, and verbal abuse to cause the victims to engage in free coughs. You have to engage in the free cough or you will be hurt. Combs maintained control over his victims through, amongst other things, physical violence, promises of career opportunities, <sighs> granting and threatening to withhold financial support, and by other coercive means, including tracking their whereabouts, dictating the victim's appearance, monitoring their medical records, controlling their housing, and supplying them with controlled substances. During and separate from free coughs, Combs, among other things, hit, kicked, threw objects at, dragged victims, and at time by the hair. These assaults often resulted in injuries that took days or weeks to heal. Diddy would then threaten victims' careers and livelihood, including if they resisted in participating in free coughs. Victims believed they could not refuse Diddler's demands without risking their financial or job security, or without repercussions in the form of physical and emotional abuse. Combs also used the sensitive, embarrassing, and incriminating recordings that he made during free coughs as collateral to ensure their continued obedience and silence of the victims. All right, it's 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 pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Members and associates of the Combs Enterprise, including Diddy, 
uh, sorry, including Diddy's security personnel, at times carried firearms. On more than one occasion, Diddy himself carried or, brand carried or brandished firearms to intimidate and threaten others, including victims of and witnesses to his abuse. In or about March 2024, during searches of Diddy's residence in Miami, Florida, and Los Angeles, California, law enforcement received seized firearms and ammunition including three ar-15s with defaced serial numbers as well as a drum magazine diddy's going out like tony montana at the top of the stairs that's what diddy's trying to do members and associates of the combs enterprise enabled combs's control over victims by following his directions regarding financial payments to victims advancing or suppressing the victim's career opportunities and acquiring the controlled substances that combs used to keep his victims compliant there's a lot going on it's a it is a big enterprise you do need a business structure to keep all this going Members and associates of the Combs Enterprise at times witnessed his violence towards the victims or the victims injuries caused by him without intervening if you didn't do anything about it, you were part, part of the problem, unfortunately. Um, instead, members and associates of the ent enterprise helped conceal the violence and abuse by, among other things, assisting Combs in monitoring and preventing victims from leaving locations such as hotels or Combs' residences. These occasions included instances in which a victim was required to remain in hiding, sometimes for several days at a time, to recover from the injuries that Combs inflicted without publicly being observed. Twist it. Members and associates of the enterprise also helped Diddler in locating and contacting victims who attempted to flee his abuse. Moving like the Scientologists out here. You're crazy. What? Tracking them down. You can't leave. Wild. When employees, witnesses to his abuse or others threatened Combs' authority or reputation, Combs and members and associates of the enterprise engaged in acts of violence, threats of violence, threats of physical and reputational harm and verbal abuse. These acts of violence included kidnapping and arson. In addition, on multiple occasions, Combs threw both objects and people. He, he threw he threw both objects and people. He threw people. As well as hit, dragged, choked, and shoved others. When his authority or reputation was threatened by the possibility of bad publicity, legal, or law enforcement action against him, including in or about late 2023, 2023 following public allegations of the crimes diddy and members of the enterprise pressured witnesses and victims including through attempted bribery to stay silent and not re report what they experienced or knew to law enforcement on phone calls diddy and others uh, provided these victims with a false narrative of events to conceal the crimes diddy had these calls to be recorded on multiple occasions now the racketeering conspiracy is about to get bad okay start in 2008 up to now, the diddler and others employed by the enterprise as described. All right. They engaged in activities which affected interstate and foreign commerce. They knowingly combined, conspired, confederated, and agreed together with each other to violate the racketeering laws of the United States. You are running a racket. You've been accused of running a racket. To conduct, participate directly and indirectly in the conduct of the affairs of the Combs Enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity. Multiple acts involving kidnapping under the California Penal Code. Oh boy. Multiple acts involving arson. Not the not the Kid Cuddy exploding car. Arson, you know, in California. It's a good bit of California arson. Multiple acts involving bribery. Oh boy. Tampering with a witness, victim, or an informant. Article relating to in uh, multiple acts indictable under relating to forced labor relating to s trafficking relating to transportation and inducement to travel for purposes of box sales and other illegal s based activities offenses involving the possession with intent to distribute narcotics and controlled substances including white powder purple liquid something i don't know it's a whole bunch of words uh, amphetamines Dio bro, this this guy was inventing new stuff. This guy was he said send it back to the lab. I need some bromo two five dimethoxy pentamel bro, send it back to the lab. Bring back some ketamine too. He's he wants everything. He's on everything. Wild. It was a part of the conspiracy that Diddy agreed that a conspirator would commit at least two acts of racketeering activity in the conduct of the affairs of the Combs Enterprise. So is it just him or is it actually him as the leader of the racket and there's going to be more details to come special sentencing factor from about 2009 up to 2018 
in the southern district of New York and elsewhere. Right. Diddy participated in the affairs of the Combs Enterprise. Pattern of racketeering activity. Affecting interstate commerce. Recruiting, enticing, harboring, transporting, providing, obtaining, advertising, maintaining, patronizing, soliciting by any means a person in reckless disregard of the fact. That means force, threats of force, and any combination that would be used to cause a person to engage in a commercial S act. That's, you know what I'm saying? So he's getting, he's basically using stuff, manipulating, forcing, coercing people into doing S acts commercially that they didn't want to do. It's bad. Count two. S, you know what I'm saying? ST, we call it ST. By force, fraud, or coercion. It's getting bad. It's been bad, but it's, it's bad. Whew. Okay. We're nearly there. From at least or about 2009 up to including in or about 2018, Southern District of New York and elsewhere. Diddy. All right. Recruited, enticed, harbored, transported, obtained, maintained, patronized, solicited a person in reckless disregards of the fact. That means force, threats of force, and coercion. All right. Similar to what we just read, basically. I'm not a lawyer. Now, we need a lawyer in here. But right now, I'm just a, I'm just a man that can read. But um, using a combination of such means to get a person to engage in a commercial S act and cause them victim one to engage in commercial S acts in disregard of the fact that victim one was engaging in them only as a result of force, fraud, and coercion. You are a real bad man. Uh, the grand right okay count three transportation to engage in sales of the kitten so you know this is you know yeah count three transportation to engage in that he's saying he did that right he willfully did that they didn't want to engage in it or, or the intent that they engaged in it he basically transported people for the purposes of interstate sales of the kitten, which is not allowed, apparently. Forfeiture allegations. My God, I really need a lawyer. I need chat GPT lawyer to analyze this, man. Do you think I could just put this whole thing in GPT and just say, is he cooked? As a result of committing the offense alleged in count one, did he shall forfeit any and all interest the defendant acquired maintained in violation of the law and any interest securities in or claims against property um, or contractual rights of any kind affording a source of influence over the enterprise named that's the whole Combs enterprise so he's got to forfeit the whole Combs enterprise whole thing all property bra bra nah that's nah he's gonna they're not gonna take everything they're gonna take everything all the Ciroc Ciroc I'll say it how I want they're gonna take all the Ciroc ugh Sum of money in United States currency representing the amount of proceeds traceable to the commission of said offense is not looking good. All right. As a result, all property real and personal involved in or intended to be used to commit facilitation of said offense. All property real and personal derived from proceeds obtained directly or indirectly as a result of said effects, including but not in limit to a sum of money. Oh, no. They're going to take everything, Mr. Diddler. Count three, same thing. If any of the above are described, if any of the above forfeitable property cannot be found, cannot be located upon the exercise of due diligence, has been trans transferred to a third person, has been placed beyond the jurisdiction of the court, substantially diminished in value. I know, I swear Diddy was trying to sell some properties recently. I see that in the news now. That was a thing. So. If any of it has been commingled and finessed, it's the intents of the United States to seek forfeiture of other property of the defendant up to the value of the forfeitable. Oh, it's bad. And that's how it ends. And that's a mic drop. We're taking your belongings. Okay. Look, it's 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 a real indictment. Diddy's name is all over it. They they they're looking like the the diddler is is in the crosshairs of law enforcement. It's finally happened. I'd like to see some more details. I'd like to see a, bit, a bigger breakdown. Maybe some more defendants. Like, are they not going to charge anyone in his organization? Or was he calling all the shots? 
Oh, I don't know. But look, there, there you have it, man. Diddy's been charged. With three counts. It's, it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. So look, we'll say, we'll wait and see if there's, there's going to be some more information that comes out. Right now, it's a rough day for Diddy, man. They're saying they arrested him early. They're saying he came back to New York to turn himself in, and they got him early. All the same. They were like, let me just grab you real quick. Let's just grab you before you uh, do a little do a little more diddling. So yeah, it's crazy. We're gonna see.